Gentrification is a renovation of neighborhoods to fit the taste of middle class people, but it also has a deeper meaning to me. Gentrification means the eviction of a lot of people and families and the fact that they're being forced out because they can't pay a certain amount of rent. I think it affects people and families in a personal way because they're losing their home um, in which many have lived for more than 10 years or 20 years and it's just um, you know taking away something that is theirs something something that they identify with and so that's um, affecting them in a deeper way. A lot of families have a job in that city um, or near in that neighborhood and then they have to move away. What if a family doesn't have a car to commute and what if public transportation is not accessible? So it only creates, not only creates a problem with families having to move, but maybe they don't even, cannot even afford to be able to get to their location. I think it's a hard question to answer because I know there's a lot of research developed. Just in the 1980s, I think research started to appear of gentrification. At the moment, I believe that policies and telling educating young people to vote and know at the moment you're 18 to vote for those politicians that will make a difference in your community um, and the importance of knowing what policies and what propositions are out there that can make a difference in your community. So educating um, youth and young people on their rights and democracy and being able to vote and make a change in your community. I don't think there's any way to stop or slow down gentrification just because I mean just in Koreatown um, there's just been so many buildings being torn down and new ones being remodeled but they're also I mean the prices are going up and it's calling in for a certain crowd of just you could say rich people and there's no way that I mean the community would miss out on a chance to make more money out of pricier apartments I think that starting campaigns because not many people are seeing the outcome of this or how much it affects other people. I think a way to advocate for gentrification is to stand up for what you think is right. Uh, a lot of people have done protests which have led to them coming up in the news so I think that's a good way to advocate, you know, um, making it public and be, like making sure that people are seeing what's going on and can act like can see the pain in people. I'm just putting it in social media as well because everybody's on social media.